the fit for goat yoga. I'm gonna put my little tabas on. I'll see you later with some goats. Putting in the spine. You got it. Girl. Well, you know, Hi, girls. girls. Oh, that's oh, oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh, 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 it's so cute, though. I got tons of I got a video, oh, too. Cute. I got videos and photos, too. <laughs> I'm running like five minutes behind, but I'm at. The cabins with Teva. I'm so excited to be here. The cabins are so cute. It reminds me a lot of when I lived in the tiny house when I was in Plattsburgh. If you know, you know. Um, so I feel very comfortable, very at home here. But look how cute. My bed set up. I've got a little couch here. I haven't yet unpacked, but there's a ton of stuff. And then the bathroom. Tiny home living with Teva. The way with like, the editors. What is going on here? Back in New York for a few days. Um, and then I'm headed to Kansas. So I need to do a lot of cleaning, a lot of laundry, a lot of dishes. I gotta clean out my fridge. Um, unfortunately, the day has gone away from me. And what time is it now? 5 30. I don't leave until Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Um, sorry, no, today is Monday. I leave on Wednesday morning. So I really just have tonight and tomorrow. And if there's one thing about me, I am the world's worst procrastinator. I literally can't do anything on time or like early. I had all these big plans. Hold on, sorry all these big plans about doing my laundry way far in advance than i'm doing it now and um it just didn't work out that way so now that my laundry has been on my bed and i need to fold it and put it away and then i need to put away the clothes from north carolina put them away <laughs> Oh my god, do you ever just feel like your your uh, your life is filled with chores? Like, your life is just like a never-ending cycle of chore after chore. And, I don't know, I'm a little stressed out about this vlog because I know it's not going to be cohesive. But enjoy a little time-lapse of me folding my laundry. That didn't take a long time. That didn't take a long time. Okay, so now the plan is to put these clothes away, which I gotta put those clothes away. And I also have to empty out my suitcase from North Carolina, open up all these boxes, put those clothes away. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna get it all done. I think I'm gonna order some dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna order. Certainly not cooking. That will send me over the edge. But we will persist. Is that right, Rob? Okay. The biggest problem that I have right now is where to put all of my sweaters. And the thing is, is like I just got rid of so many sweaters and I have them underneath here. Um, but this is this is filled up so I can't use that anymore and guys the state of my closet oh my fucking god it's not good um not good at all I think oh hello I think the most obvious choice right now is to put the sweaters on the floor back where they were and um, order like a bin for them because they're just not gonna they're not gonna fit and I'm not gonna even try to make them fit because that would just stress me out even more. It's so crazy because I just got rid of so many sweaters. That's a bin full of sweaters. Sweaters right here, sweaters under my bed. Should I get rid of more? But they're so good. I feel like I'm constantly going through this like 
do I get rid of things? Do I not? Do I keep things for like sentimental value or because like one day I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna wish I had it, but then it's like I don't have room. You see that, right? Like, what do I do? Okay, I'm done putting away my clothes. And that took forever. It took forever. And if you live in New York City, then you know that putting away your clothes when you don't have any space is really just a sport, an Olympic sport that I could win like, not gold, I could probably win silver or bronze. I did move some stuff in Jared's closet around so that I could use the top of it. And I don't think he'll mind, but he's not here. He's not here to, you know, to say no ask for forgiveness and not permission that kind of vibe as you can see i have some pr that i wanted to just shout out because i never do this i've been saying no to a lot of pr for the past like year and a half because i get really i get inundated with pr and boxes and going through all of these things and like the look at look at the way look at the boxes they just pile up and pile up and it drives me insane. And um, as thankful of, as I am to all the brands that send me things, like I'm so forever grateful. I will never get over that this is my job, but um, it gets overwhelming. And how do you say that as an influencer who gets free things to say that it's overwhelming to get free things? I understand how it sounds and I never want to sound ungrateful because I'm so grateful for everything that I have but i stopped i stopped accepting pr and i stopped shouting out pr because i felt embarrassed and i felt like it was i was showing off i felt like i was just like doing something yucky but it is like i i don't think it should be yucky i don't think it should be yucky it's part of the job and i am so thankful for everyone that sends me pr Anyway, this is a really long-winded story to tell you that I am going to be showing you everything that I've got in the mail as a thank you. And I'm not going to be putting these on my stories because I think it's too much. It's too much to do a TikTok, stories, YouTube. It's too much. So, we're going to start off with Super Goop. They sent over this, like, Halloween basket with a candle. And I'm going to be honest, um, this candle is going to have a new home. The scent is just a little too strong for me. It is um, a, in the scent, spiced pomander. Twist on classic fall aroma, bitter orange, sweet apricot, and zesty ginger. That's why I don't like it. I don't really like orange smell. So this will be rehomed to a friend or neighbor. Socks from Bombas, some new glow screen, which I always appreciate because I go through sunscreen all the time. Um, I have like a little good back stock of glow screen. So thank you, Super Goop. Dr. Jart holiday gifts. I love Dr. Jart. Their masks are so good. This like cryo, I don't know what it's called. The rubber one, the, the collagen pink one is my favorite. Um, so this looks like it's one of every mask. I will be using this. Maybe I'll do like a 10 days of masks. And then this one is the hydrate and glow kit. I'll probably gift this to someone because it's like a cutie little kit. And the tiger grass bomb, always a hit. Taylor loves that. Maybe I'll give it to Taylor for Christmas. Tory Burch. We have some perfume. I think this is the one that my grandma really likes, the Sublime Rose. So that'll probably go to her for Christmas. Cute little box. I love that. Clothes from Spell, which is really exciting. I'm not going to show you everything because um, I don't want to open up everything, but I will open up this shirt that I did pick out for my upcoming trip to somewhere warm for my birthday. I think it's so cute and it's gonna look so good with a little bikini underneath it. Look at the print, it's so, so stunning. It's like a see-through silky linen material. I love Spell. I think they're the best and Australians just know how to fucking do it. I feel like the Australians Australians, the the Danish, and maybe like the Belgian all know how to dress really great. Is that how you said the Belgian? People from Belgium? The Belgian? 
Yves Saint Laurent. I um, am going to confess that I have one of these, so this will be gifted to someone. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. That'll be fun. Okay. So a little sneak peek of what might be given away. Um, this will not be given away because I love Necessaire, their hand cream. Hand retinol I've never used, but let's see. But the hand cream is so good. It's going to go right in my purse because I love, I love this. Hand retinol. Apply to areas where treatment is needed. Apply to clean skin. Use more. What's the difference? Is this just like skincare for your hands? I like that. I go to sleep every night and I wear copious amounts of, of lotion because if I don't, I can't sleep. I like cannot sleep without putting lotion on my feet, on my hands and having chapstick on or I'll, I literally won't sleep. I'll be up, I'll, I'll be up all night. My besties at Replica. Um, this is by the fireplace. I have a pretty big bottle of this and this stuff goes a long way. So I think I might add this as a giveaway because it's like a little mini travel set so cute i'm actually gonna do the giveaway i love giveaways they're so fun like this by the fireplace it's like my fall scent i love giving that away because i know that i love it so then i'm giving you something that i know that is like approved by me yay some melissa clogs these are like plastic clogs they're so cute cute dress from therese so saucy i love this i love the colors i think they're beautiful this is actually very special and i already opened this already um anthro weddings is incredible and i love them so much i love the team i love them and they sent over this like really cute little bridal gift for me and they're just so sweet they included a slip mask just a white slip mask because you know bride um they also included some really beautiful earrings like these are so good for hey my cats are fighting these are so good for all sorts of things like new year's eve christmas thanksgiving bridal things so i'm definitely so thankful for these they're beautiful they're by the brand and sashi which i'm sure all of this is available on anthropology so maybe i'll link it below a cute little bag Cute little white bag, a little white rose moment. An I Do perfume, so cute. And then they included some PJ. Definitely show you more of what's in this box as bridal things start to happen. I love you so much. Another exciting gift that came is a Monsoor Gabrielle bag in collab with Nordstrom. So beautiful. I love tote bags like this where they fit nicely on the shoulder underneath like a sweater. The inside is pink. So freaking cute. So beautiful. Oh, it smells good. I love when that happens. I love Monster Gabrielle. They're a really good brand if you're looking for like a good middle price point bag um that has the quality of like any designer bag but at an affordable price oh my god oh my god this is an epic jacket from top shop i don't know if you can see it i think it's reversible and it's like a it's like a dark brown cow print oh my god it is reversible so fucking cool. I didn't know it was reversible. Ah! Oh my God, it's so cute. Wear this in Kansas this week, is that too much? I heard it's freezing, so maybe it's not too much. Good clean goop. Oh, it's from Goop. So cute. Beauty Chews, I've never heard of that. Sometimes the boxes just get really up. We've got some, we've got some scalp detox, moisturizer, glycolic toner and illuminator, and some juice cleanser. Wow. Thank you so much. Where am I going to put all of this? This box is from Shopbox. 
and I have like a little monthly partnership with Shopbop. It's not sponsored, but, um, or it's not paid, I should say. I have a little monthly partnership with Shopbop where they let me borrow a bunch of pieces and, um, I post about them. It's not paid, so I don't like have any posting requirements, but obviously like I pick out stuff that I would want to borrow anyway. And this month this was really good. So cute. This is a sweater from ALC, which is adorable. And then this like chocolate brown oversized blazer. So good. Obsessed with both of these. These are gonna go in the closet. Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? So that's everything. Um, I'm really excited about this giveaway. I think it's gonna be really fun. I might wait a little bit until some more um, goodies pile up, but for now, I am going to order some dinner and just veg out on the couch. And then tomorrow, I'm packing for Kansas. Good morning. It's Halloween. Here's my costume. I'm going as a influencer who never does her makeup. <laughs> Just lit a candle. I got this candle from the Teva trip in Asheville, which is so funny because I made a podcast episode, which is coming Thursday, which is, oh my God, I'm dropping it tomorrow. I'm so excited. But the entire time I was like, I'm going to Charlotte, I'm going to Charlotte. Um, didn't go to Charlotte. Charlotte's actually much far, it's far, far from Asheville. I'm just a moron to Asheville, not Charlotte. I've been to Charlotte though, pretty city. I'm waiting for the cat sitter to come. Um, she's gonna come grab the keys and um, so that'll be set. Then the little freaks will have someone to come and feed them, which is great. And uh, then I'm gonna shower. I have to make some videos which is kind of a bummer because it's kind of the last thing that I want to do, but I need to get it done before I go to Kansas because when I get to Kansas, I just want to chill. I don't want to do anything. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to meet up with Caroline for a little walk um, and end the night probably doing a little bit more cleaning, packing, that sort of thing, hanging out with the boys. And I will take you along. Sorry, this has kind of been like a boring at home vlog. Um, not very exciting. I was gonna vlog in Kansas, but like like I said, Jared's there right now and he's like, oh, it's so relaxing, we're not doing anything. And I really wanna like dive head, head first into that vibe and not do anything because I think while I am traveling and that's kind of a bummer because I was just traveling like four days ago, I would like to be you know hunkered down but at least i'll be with family i haven't seen them in so long um since before the breakup so <laughs> it's been a while since i've seen his side of the family and i love them so much so i'm very excited to see them and just chill eat some food hang out maybe go see a movie do some like you know hometown type of things um but yeah for now i'm just waiting for the cat sitter and i'm blabbing I'm trying to drink more water. It's really cold. Oh, sir. You dropped off the wrong one. Oh, wow. Well. Sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry, it's too low than the mic. Sorry. If, yeah, I saw, I saw yeah. there. One second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait. Crisis averted. He just rang up again. So um, this time, I think it's the right the right meal. These things happen. They happen. I, I sometimes do it, even with Poshmark orders or something. I will be so confident that I've got it right, and then a mess will happen. So not a big deal. I'm just so hungry. It's just one of those days I got away from me. I was like on email all day doing like hotel blocks for the wedding because that's been on my list for a while and I wanted to get it done so I had like nothing on my plate nothing on my to-do list and the day got away from me so I ordered some kava I'm so excited because I love kava 
I'm just gonna like wait by the door. I could clean this up. What a mess. Five bucks. This is my, this is the order that I got. Focus. Pita, chicken, red pepper hummus, crazy feta, cucumber, onion, olives, and the tahini. So fucking delicious. Oh, oh no, it's leaking. All right, I gotta eat this. This is my outfit. I am wearing a Longchamp pullover and pants that they gifted me so kindly, as well as wearing my little Gucci boots. And because it's Halloween and we're going like full orange, these are sunglasses from Velvet Canyon. They are, I don't know exactly what, uh, what the name of the frame is but i'm sure like there's only one of these on the site we're in my neck of the woods we are i'm here with caroline hello do you have a nickname does anyone call caro. you caro okay. yeah um we just took some photos i'm wildly out of focus hello <laughs> that always happens with my g7 hello um we just went for a walk around greenpoint because it's my favorite neighborhood and that's where she lives yes. it's still out of focus what the can i see <sighs> yes okay so i feel like once you're it's doing pro. that you're i stop the, you're the pro and like we're back Okay, so it's so like what the you try I when to, like, I start it up. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're back. Take two. Yes. We just took some photos around Greenpoint, and now we're gonna head back. I'm so caffeinated right now. Me too. Okay. I feel no, like I'm, I'm talking a million miles an hour. I was filming somebody yesterday, and I was like, "Hey, it's something." I was like, "Really not." And then we got to no. snow. It was not great. But there's yeah. so many. Cute, it's Halloween. So it is. So many cute new news. So many cute kids. We saw a bunch of cute dogs and. Everything's great. I know. It's a great good costume. Such a good costume. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm actually just in the middle of editing um, this vlog. Filmed another um, podcast episode, so that should drop next week. Probably like Monday. I'll do like a. I'll ed start editing Monday. So it should drop next week and um, on Thursday, because I'm gonna do drops on Thursdays. Um, but I just filmed that and or didn't film it. I just recorded it and uh, I need to pack for Kansas. I leave pretty early in the morning. I'm watching The Great right now on Hulu procrastinating because I don't want to pack and get ready and get in the shower. All these things that I don't want to do that I need to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I get back on Saturday and then we will pick it up for another little vlog. Thanks for watching.